Buenas noches. Hello, good evening. Good evening. All right. Hello, hello, guys. Good evening. Welcome once again to the class. I hope you're doing okay. I hope that you have a great day. So thank you so much for the people that is always on time. I really appreciate that. So uh, today is a new day and something new to learn, okay? So as you remember, guys, well, first of all, let me ask you, can everybody hear me? Yes. Can everybody hear me? Now the numbers, uh, no, the cardinal numbers and ordinary numbers is correct? Yeah, correct. Eh, antes que todo, todos me escuchan. Everybody? Yes? Yes. All right, perfect. Yes. So, um, so as, uh, as I was saying, thank you so much, guys, for uh, being here once again. I really appreciate that. So yesterday, as Carla said, we saw ordinal and cardinal numbers, correct? So uh, yesterday, some of you were having some situations with some pronunciations, but I'm pretty sure that probably while you're practicing, mientras practiquen and things like that, you won't have that problem again. So um, before we start with today's class, antes que, que empecemos con la clase de hoy, we are going to, well, we are going to, to see, vamos a ver, if you remember some of the numbers that we saw yesterday. Alguno de los números que vimos ahí. Okay, so let me see. Teresita, give me a number from 1 to 10. Dime un número del 1 al 10. Vamos a ver a quién le toca. ¿Sí? Number 8. 8. Let me see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Maricela Alejandrina. Hello, Maricela. Hello. How are you today? Uh, I'm fine, thank you. Very good. So, Maricela, can you please tell me the numbers from 20 to 30? Can you please tell me those numbers? Uh, 20, 21, uh, okay. 22, okay. 23, 24, 25. Say it, say it again, 23. 23. Okay. 24, mm -hmm. 25, 26. 27, 28, 29, 60, uh, 30. I'm sorry? 30. 30, very good. Now, a number from 1 to 10. Give me a number from 1 to 10. Numero del 1 al 10. 6. 6. Let me see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Alba. Hello, Alba. Hello. Hello. How are, how are you today, Alba? Nice. Okay, very good. Give me, uh, tell me the numbers from 60 till 70. Okay. Uh, 60, 
66, 67, 68, 69, um, 70. 70, very good. Now, give me a number from one to 10. Um, four. Four. One, two, three, four, Juan Fernando. Juan Fernando, hello. Yes, no. Uh, can you tell me the numbers desde primero hasta décimo? Go ahead. Okay, ordinals or cardinals? Listen, desde el primero hasta el décimo. Okay. Ordinals. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, first, second, third, fourth, fifth, uh, sixth, uh, seventh, mm -hmm. eighth, seventh, ninth, 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 uh, tenth. 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 Very good. Now, Juan Fernando, give me a number from one to ten. Eight. Eight. Let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, eight. Okay, eight. Ana Acevedo, hello. How are you, Ana? Hello. Okay, Ana, tell me the numbers from 40 till 50. Forty-three, forty-two, forty-three, four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, fifty. Okay, um, very good. Now, Anna, give me a number from one to ten. Six. Six. Give me a number from one to ten. Un número del uno al diez. Two. Two. One, two. Nivia. Hello, Nivia. I cannot listen to you. You have your microphone off. Aquí está. Yeah. Okay. Good. So, how are you today, Nivia? I'm fine. Today. Very good. Tell me the numbers from onceavo till veinteavo. Go ahead. Okay. Eleventh. Twelve. 13, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20th. 20th. Very good. So, Nivia, give me a number from 1 to 10. Um, 7. 7. Let me see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Elizabeth. Hello, Elizabeth. Hello, Elizabeth. How are you today, Elizabeth? Okay, tell me the numbers from 80 till 90. Yeah. 80, 80. 80, very good. Uh, 81, mm -hmm. 82, mm -hmm. 83, mm -hmm. 84, uh -huh. 85. 86, 87, mm -hmm. 88, mm -hmm. 89, mm -hmm. 90. 90, excellent. Very good. So I think that we do not have that much problem. Um, what did I say, guys? What did I say about saying numbers like 1996? Why did I say about those numbers? Mm -hmm. what we can you... read in uh, we can read them uh, two by two 
two by two, okay? Is there a possibility to say it one number by one number? Mm, I consider that's correct. Uh, so I can say 1996 like that, or I can say two by two, is that correct? both of them okay now let me ask you to everyone in general para todos what is the cuál es la que prefieren los americanos which one american prefers two by two or two one by, two. by one two by two. two by two excellent very good two by two. okay uh, okay, so I think that we are we are all set down there. How do we say Teresita? How do we say doscientos? Um, <clears throat> uh, mm -hmm. Two hundred. Yeah, I know. 200. <laughs> now, how do we say, <laughs> como, how do we say mil? How do we say mil then, Teresita? Uh -huh. Mil. Ah. No, no. Cuando la compañía dijo 200, me acordé de 100. Pero. Eh. In general, how do we say mil? Sí. One thousand. One thousand. One thousand. And one how do we say million. un million then? One, one million. million. One million. One million. Very good. So I think that one we million. do not have um, too much to see in the numbers because I consider that the majority of you already have a very nice like understanding about numbers. I see, I still see that you're still having some problems with los números first, second, third, see? Más que todo del once para arriba. Ahí es donde la mayoría, we're still having some problems over there. So we, we, we need to, um, to work on those, okay? So uh, I also, Eh, recibí de nuevo, recibí de nuevo, solo ciertas personas hicieron su tarea, ¿sí? De ahí las demás brillan por su ausencia, ¿verdad? So you gotta be careful, guys. Remember that homework are part of your learning path, of your practice, ¿sí? De su práctica. If you do, and the yesterday's practice, la práctica de ayer was very easy. That was super fácil, see? ¿sí? You just had to connect numbers and that was it. So it was not that complicated. So for today's class, guys, we have something that we call, algo que le llamamos demonstrative pronouns, pronombres demonstrativos. Have you ever heard about it? ¿Alguno de ustedes ha escuchado alguna vez? Is that in this? Uh, we're going there. Yeah, that's pretty much it. So, um, can Those you say in this? Yeah, that's pretty much it. So, um, can you see the presentation? Yes. All right, cool. Yes. So uh, as you can see for today's class, we have demonstrative pronouns. Yes, as Juan Fernando said, uh, those are demonstrative pronouns. Estos de acá, see? Today we are going to learn how to use them. Hoy vamos a aprender cómo utilizarlos. I'm pretty sure that some of you have already heard. Soy, uh, sé que algunos de ustedes ya lo han escuchado. So, the singular ones, los singulares, son 
these and that. The plurals are this and those. Again, de nuevo. If you can see, aquí podemos ver con referencia, ¿verdad? Cuando decimos these es porque está cerca, near. Aquí dice, ven, near, cerca. But if I say that, yo me estoy refiriendo a algo que está lejos, that. So, the same happens with the plural. Lo mismo pasa con lo plural. Si yo digo this, estoy refiriendo a estos que yo tengo cerca. If I say those, I'm saying those que están lejos, aquellos o esos de allá lejos. ¿Sí? So we gotta be really careful with that and do not confuse them. Okay? So we got, we got some formulas. Tenemos algunas formulas. How we are going to create or the way we should create some sentences, oraciones. And here we have, if we want to form, si queremos formar, positive or affirmative sentences, we have this formula. First of all, demonstrative pronoun, plus, así decimos más, plus verb to be. De nuevo, ¿verdad? El verbo to be nos persigue. ¿Sí? Then, complement. Complement. Once again, Demonstrative pronoun plus verb to be plus complement. All right. So here we have, first of all, as it says over there, we have the demonstrative pronoun. See? What are these ones? Guess, ¿Cuáles son estos que tengo acá? Singular or plural? Singular. 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 Very good. So, siguiendo la formula, siguiendo la formula, tenemos. Primero, first, demonstrative pronoun, singular. Then, the verb be. Then, the complement. Examples, ejemplos. This is my new car. My new car. This is my new car. Este es mi carro nuevo. See? If I say, that is my friend. Aquel o aquella es mi amigo. O amiga. Sí, yo lo estoy viendo de lejos. That. That is my friend. Okay. That is for the singulars. Let's go with the plurals. Again, we have to follow the formula. What are these? ¿Qué son estos? Singular or plural? Plural. plural. Plurals. Okay. Then we have the demonstrative pronoun plus the verb to be. The verb to be that is conjugated, ¿sí? El verbo to be es conjugado dependiendo si es plural or singular. Ya sabemos, ¿verdad? Which one do we use for plurals? ¿Cuál forma del verbo to be utilizamos para plurales? Are, right? Which one do we use for singular? Is. Yes. Perfect. So, as you can see right here, como pueden ver acá, the examples, los ejemplos. This. Ahora quiero. Now I want you to pay attention to the pronunciation. Quiero que preste mucha atención a la pronunciación entre this and this. ¿Sí? Porque hay una mínima, un mínimo cambio. And one of the problems or one of the reasons uh, when someone is trying to learn English, cuando alguien está aprendiendo inglés, is pronunciation. Que a veces no lo pronunciamos bien. So, this one right here, the singular, the singular form, la fórmula singular o la forma esta de acá, es this. This. ¿Sí? Esta de acá, the plural one, el plural es this. 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 See? Listen once again. These, this. These, this. 
Okay, I will say once again. Vamos a decir todo el ejemplo. This is my new car. These are my earrings. Estos son mis aritos. Vean, my earrings. ¿Sí? Now, esta de acá, this one. That and those. That and those. That, those. I will say once again the examples. That is my friend. Those are my classroom materials. See? So, with that being said, con eso dicho, chicos, is there any questions so far? Any question? Okay, no questions at all. All right. Oh, oh you have a question? Uh, generalmente se puede empezar una pregunta y también se puede responder al mismo tiempo con el this, el das, el des, en dos. Sí, ya vamos a ir a las preguntas. Now, ahorita solo estamos viendo how to form, cómo formar positive, positivas en negative sentences. Sí. Uh, but we will go to the questions later on, see? Um, here, oh, that's my bad. Let me see, let me try to change this. Just give me a second because there's a mistake over here because here it says positive and should say negative. Let me try to correct that right now, negative, okay, cool. So, let me see. Okay, great. So, um, all right. So, with the negatives, con las negativas, here we have, aquí tenemos again a formula, a formula that we need to follow, una formula que debemos seguir para formar oraciones. Oraciones simples utilizando the verb be, of course. The formula says, la formula dice, demonstrative pronoun plus verb be or verb to be plus the word not, la palabra not, plus the complement. Of course, here we go. Aquí vamos. First of all, demonstrative pronoun, verb to be, La palabra not and a complement. So the examples are this is not my new car. This is not my new car. Now let me ask you, pregunta en general. ¿Podría contractar el verbo to be con la palabra not? Si la respuesta es sí, ¿cómo lo pronunciaría? Isn't. Isn't. Excellent. Very good. So it will be, we can say, podemos decir, this is not my new car, or we can say, this isn't my new car. Now, con that, that is not my friend, or that isn't my friend. All right. Now let's go with the plurals. That's and those are. Okay, and here we have. Example right here. These are not the sandals that I bought in Miami. Estas no son las sandalias que compré en Miami. Those are not or Como podríamos decir, are not contracted? Aren't. 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 Very good. Those aren't my classroom materials. So it's very easy, guys. It's muy fácil if we want to create or to form uh, basic sentences. Oraciones básicas. Using a demonstrative pronoun, see, ¿sí? pronombre demonstrativo. So, with that being said, with the positive and the negatives, is there any question?
Are you trying to say something, Nivia? Because I cannot listen to you. Eh, se le llama pronombre demostrativo, ya que eh, en sí la acción que realiza es demostrar algo que está situado en un lugar. ¿Sí? Y se le llama pronombre por el hecho que inicia, está al inicio de la frase. Claro, esto puede cambiar muchas veces, lo podemos encontrar en medio, pero ya ahí ya no va a actuar como pronombre demostrativo, sino que va a uh, eh, tener otro tipo de función, gramáticamente hablando. Pero por el momento, acá lo estamos viendo al inicio y así es como lo vamos a entender ahorita. Más allá, later on, you will completely understand all the usage. ¿Sí? Pero por eso le llamamos demonstrative pronoun because it shows you, le demuestra algo que está ahí o allá, en cierto lugar. ¿Sí? Very good. If there is no any other question, we are going to go. Vamos a irnos. Vamos a ver how do we create questions. Cómo crear preguntas using the demonstrative pronouns. Okay. What do we do? ¿Qué es lo que hacíamos para formar preguntas básicas con el verbo to be? ¿Quién se acuerda? Who remembers that? First we use is. First we use is or the verb be at the beginning. And that's exactly what we are going to do with the demonstrative pronouns. Eso es exactamente lo que vamos a hacer. In the questions, lo primero que va a ir es el verbo to be. Lo vamos a cambiar de nuevo. Si se fijan aquí, primero va el demonstrative pronoun y después el verbo to be. Para las preguntas, for the questions, first is going to be the verb be, then the demonstrative pronouns, and obviously then the complement and the question mark. Y el signo de pregunta at the end. Okay, we have an example right here. Is that my new car? Is this my new car? Now let's go with the plurals. The same thing, la misma forma. Are this or are those my earrings? Son estos o son aquellos mis aritos? Now, ¿cómo respondemos? How do we answer those questions? Very simple. Si usted va a decir yes, y va a utilizar singulars, you are going to say yes, this is, or yes, that is. This. If you are going to use the plurals, you are going to say yes, this are, yes, those are. Or if you want to say negative, you are going to say no, this, oh. My bad here. Vamos a ver si alguien puede encontrar un error right there. Can you find a mistake? That are. That are. Excellent. Very good. Let me correct that mistake over here. Give me a second. That was a finger mistake. Let me see. Very good. Teacher, va a enviar esa clase otra vez al grupo? If you want to, I can send it once again. If you want to, it is up to you. It depends on you. If you want to have it, I will, I will send it to you. If you want, si ustedes quieren, at the end of the class, I can send it. So there we go. If you want to say the negative ones, las negativas, no, this is not, or contractado, no, this isn't. No, that is not, no, that isn't. No, this are not, no, this aren't. No, those are not, no, 
those aren't. Okay? So I think that this is very, very easy to understand. It's not that complicated. I mean, there's not a lot of information, no hay mucha información, and it's very simple to understand. See? But there's another way to use, hay otra forma de cómo utilizar los demonstrative pronouns. But now, con esto de las preguntas, is there any question? No questions at all? All right. Here we have el resumen, ¿sí? This is what it's all about. Eso es lo que, de lo que se trata todo. This is uh, like everything here explained. We have these, this, that, those. ¿Por qué acá dice en rojo here and there? Se refiere a la acción. Es decir, si yo digo this, me estoy refiriendo a aquí, here. Si yo digo that, me estoy refiriendo a allá. Es decir, there. Por eso es que tiene esto acá, ¿ok? So, as I was telling you, como les estaba diciendo, the master T pronouns, hay dos formas en lo que la podemos utilizar. Si se fijan, if you notice, si se fijan, acá, acá donde estoy punteando, es donde tenemos las dos formas. Es decir, la primera forma sería utilizando el pronombre demostrativo y luego el verbo to be. Ejemplos. This is a red pen. Si se fijan, demonstrative pronoun, and then, después el verbo to be. El otro ejemplo, these are blue pants. ¿Sí? De nuevo, demonstrative pronouns and verb be. Ahora, lo puedo utilizar como un adjetivo también demonstrativo y luego un sustantivo. ¿Qué quiere decir esto? Yo voy a decir primero this y aunque yo sé que eso es un pronombre demostrativo en este caso, porque yo después tengo un sustantivo, acá está actuando como un adjetivo. Y yo digo, este, what does pen mean? ¿Qué significa pen? Lapicero. Lapicero. Lapicero, ok. Si ustedes se fijan, if you can notice, arriba yo estoy diciendo, this is a red pen. Este es un lapicero rojo. Pero ahora vengo y si lo cambio de la forma en que tengo aquí abajo, yo voy a decir, este lapicero es rojo. Al revés. ¿Sí? El mismo significado que queremos dar pero gramaticalmente cambian las cosas, ¿sí? This is just an example. Esto solo es ejemplo. No quiero que se me vayan a confundir en esta parte de acá. Solo es como ejemplo. Ahorita lo que me interesa, what is more important for me, is that you learn it in this way. Que se lo aprendan de esta forma. First, primero, el pronombre demostrativo y luego el verb be. This is going to be just examples. Que más adelante los vamos a ver, ¿sí? Probably in module two. Probablemente en módulo número dos. So, uh, is there any question at this moment, guys? Juan Fernando. But the most common way that we use sometimes is the adjective noun, right? is the demonstrative adjective. Yeah, most of the time it's going to be demonstrative. Uh, no, you mean uh, the second one? This one right here? Uh, one. Te refieres uh, al, a este de acá, el número number two? Demonstrative adjective plus now? Yes. Okay. Eh, la forma más común de encontrarlos es la que estamos viendo ahorita. Esta de demonstrative adjective plus noun es la que utilizas 
cuando tú estás aprendiendo inglés porque se te hace más fácil de relacionarlo o de traducirlo. Pero la forma comúnmente y mejor utilizada es la que estamos viendo ahorita. Demonstrative pronoun plus verb. It's like an informal way, but not at all. Not at all, exactly. So it is understandable, it's entendible, but it's a little bit informal. But no te puedo decir, no la puedes usar because you are allowed to use it. Estás permitido utilizarla. And everybody is going to understand you. Y considero que tal vez, tal vez para ustedes puede ser más fácil utilizarla in that way, de esa manera. See? That's a very good question. Uh, Fernando, is there any other questions so far? Uh, the difference when, when we pronounce this and this, uh, how, we, how we can uh, pronounce them in a good way? I mean, um, probably at this point, uh, in este momento, it's going to be a little bit difficult for you, but we say this, like, Como así, D y S, this, this. Y esta de acá es como un poquito vibrada la letra E y decimos this, this, como vibrada la E, this. So this, 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 this. That's the most easy or the easiest way for you to pronounce it. At this moment, it might be or it might sound a little bit difficult, but then when you get used to that, you are going to perfectly learn it. So, but I hope it's clear for you. Yes. All right. So is there any other question? Someone else? No? No questions at all. No? All right. So if there's no questions, guys, because today's there's not too much information to tell you, we are going to go to the practices. So today we are going to go to the breakout rooms. Ahora nos vamos a ir todos a los breakout rooms. So please take a screenshot, take a picture of these exercises because we are going to be working here in the class, okay? So take a screenshot and let me know so I can move to number two. Ready. Ready. Ready, teacher. And this is the last one. Uh, so, Mr. Uh, can you put the third one again, please? Yes. There okay, you go. Thank you. The first, please. The first one. Yes. One moment, please. Thanks. Okay, and the last one. This is the last one. Are we done? Is everybody done? Yes. Perfect. Now, yes. That ev now that everybody is done, we are going to go to the breakout rooms. Again, guys, if you are able to try to say some words in English, try to practice, see? Si podemos decir 
words in English, practice it, see? ¿sí? Practicarlas desde ya, ok? I want everybody to participate. Todos participando. I will be checking each one of the groups. Voy a estar verificando cada uno de los grupos to verify that everyone is working, okay? So, let me see. I already sent you the invitation, so please try to join your groups. Sí. ¿Crees? ¿Por qué? Singular y está cerca. <ríe> eh, car. Eh, igual. Es que quizás, ah, entonces para abajo, para abajo sería, sería quizás este, esto y para un lado sería esto. Mm. O sea, como está para abajo, está Ajá, refiriendo a, este, a esto. La primera sería esta bicicleta. Sería this, ¿verdad? Sí. This bike. The second is that. Singular, singular y está lejos. Sí. And, eh, that, ¿verdad? And, uh, that. And the Hola. <laughs> Hola. ¿Cómo se dice tres? Tercera, ¿te acordás? Eh, tercera. Mhm. Mm so yeah, first, second. Second. Third. Con, ah, con Z al final. <laughs> Uh, bye. Y las rosas uh -huh. es plural, sería this. Um, this. Cerca, ¿no? this. Uh -huh. ¿Verdad? Sí. Ok. This rose. Uh -huh. Y close. close. Tiene ese, ¿verdad? Sí, tiene ese y está lejos. Dos. Dos. El significado de gloves, ¿te acuerdas qué es? Sí, no ve. Ok.
estas terapias se seleccionan anticuerpos okay. naturales que producen los como tratamiento general de inyección. La aprobación de la EMA la, la la siguiente. Dice la primera es sería this ball ajá this ball this ball this ball this I don't know I don't know when to eat this that tiger that tiger ajá yes this motorcycle sí this motorcycle Uh -huh. La tercera sería this. This choose. Look at this. Car. No, la tres es look at this. Car on the road. Una, dos, tres, cuatro. Mm -hmm. Cuatro es los shoes. La cuatro serían shoes. Ajá, uh -huh. this choose. Shoes. This shoes. This shoes. Ajá. Uh -huh. No, this. no, no. This book, la cinco. Okay. This book. Okay. Eh, las otras serían eh, eh, dos cherries, dos, dos flowers, dos, 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 dos cherries, dos cherries. cherries. Um, el siguiente sería de that, that. That. definitivamente sí. me va a costar aprenderme that. lo que puede hacer es buscar en google como ejercicios este, puede poner como ejercicios this, that, those and this y ahí le van a salir como unos test uh, que le pueden ayudar como a a hacer ejercicio. Sí, sí, me va a costar aprender mm. la diferencia entre los singulares. Sí, es que digamos, el, en los singulares sería como dos, es algo que no podemos tocar, como algo que está lejos de nosotros, y this es como algo que nosotros podamos tocar. Sí, es eh, como la diferencia. Eh, eh, sí, lo que a mí me confunde casi siempre es el, el plural de lejos y cerca. Ajá. Eso es lo que podría Seguimos ser como... Okay. Eran tres o cuatro. Ahí está. Sí. Here. Here I am. Dice que la uno sería here, this. ¿Verdad que sí? Hola, hola. Sí, sería this. Si la otra sería dos. 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 Sí. La tercera sería. Dice que está viendo el carro. En, la, ¿En el qué? That, 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 that. That. 
Sí, verdad. Dot. Mm. Es un solo carrito. Y ahí dice... Garden, jardín, ¿verdad? Es muy nice. Entonces es ese, sería that. ¿Estamos en, en that? No, sí. Un jardín. Eh, ah, yo diría que es this. Que puede ser este o ese. Ah, este, como este jardín de this. Ah, sí, Perfecto. sí, en el ejemplo en la, dice... En la parte de arriba ahí. da los ejemplos. Entonces, here es como this y there es como this. ese. Ajá. Sí, ya. Yeah. O, o en mm. aquella caja, das. No. Porque, por ejemplo, eh, tengo got the pencil in, in here, I box. Y sería como pon el lápiz aquí en esa caja. Pero Ajá, no sé porque, si tiene sentido. Porque si usted ve las palabras que están aquí cerca del, del, del muñeco este, está mm -hmm. la palabra box. Las del lado derecho son las que están lejos y las del lado izquierdo son las que están cerca. Ah, cierto, sí, 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 son esas que son. Tendríamos que usar here y there, ¿verdad? Sí. Ajá. Sí, ya tenemos la palabra. Usaríamos this, that y sus debidos plurales. O sea, en ese caso sería this, como dice la compañera. Porque está el, 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 el individuo, o sea. Cierto. Intentémoslo, pongamos 10 a ver cómo nos va. Ok. Adivinando, vea. No, no, ana, analizando. Okay. No, yo digo que es this porque está, digamos, en el singular y está hablando de, de, sobre esta caja. No exactly. Sé. Put the pencil in this box. Sí. Adivinando. No mentira. O suerte. Al team marimba. Sería ¿Qué, qué?
Pues como que te hay que poner un poquito, porque si dijera hombres, si fuera plural, fuera men. Pero usted le está hablando de un solo hombre, por ley es un Pero es como lo que dijo el teacher al inicio de la clase, cuando dijo aquella o esa, o esa es mi amiga. Entonces tiene que ser un... Ajá. Tiene que ser men. Uh -huh. That man was my father. Sí, ajá, y es Lejos. Dos. Está hablando de dos. Above dos. Book. Dos. Yes. Above dos. Books. Dos. Ajá. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. The fish is can. This. The this. In this can. The fish is in this can. See, yes, this. This can. Yeah. See. Uh -huh. Hoy ya va a terminar, pero sería la última ya, ¿verdad? No. Sí, esa es la última, correcto. Sí, es el último ejercicio. Sería that. That. Igual, this, this a this. Dos a that de sal yumke pero ahí sería this. Well, okay, guys, I think that we got enough time. Probably the majority of you already complete most or all of the exercises because they were not that difficult. So did you complete them all? Completaron todos? Yes. Cool. Let me see. Yeah. Nosotros terminamos los cuatro ejercicios. Okay, perfect. That's very good. So let me see. We're going to try just to resolve one of the exercises due to the time. But the other ones, did you complete them? Did you complete the exercises? No, no, no la última. The last one. All the right. last one. Okay, perfect. So, but I thought, well, I think that those exercises were really easy. 
So we're going to try to just to resolve this part. Let me ask you randomly. We're going to start by Alba. What is the answer for number one? Hello, um, this, this. This bike. This, this Very bike. good. Omar, number two. And that. That car. Very good. Teresita, number three. I couldn't hear what just what she said. Ahí pusimos des, des rose. Rose. Des, des ro rose. Roses. Okay. Catherine Reyes, the next one. Those. Those clouds. Anna, the next one. This girl. This girl, very good. Uh, Maricela, the next one. Uh, those trees. Those trees. Uh, Juan Fernando, the next one. This ants. This ants, very good. Nivia, the next one. This planet. Are no, you sure? Those, those, those planets. Perdón. Are you sure? No, that's, perdón. Hay que es uno. That, that plan. That plan. That plan. Very good. Yes. Elizabeth, the last one. This book. This bag. Este insecto. Okay, very good. Bag. So, um, I think that those exercises were really easy, guys. Uh, well, I'm going to send you the presentation through the WhatsApp group. So if you want to study all over again, si quieren estudiar de nuevo in the, during the weekend, you can do it, okay? Lo pueden hacer, estudiar. Do not forget, guys, no olviden to keep working on the platform, continuar la plataforma, okay? So keep working on the platform so you don't have any problem at the end. Para no tener ningún problema al final. So the presentation, si no entendieron muy bien, study all over again, estudiar. Eh, so you can practice at the same in, in the same time. So hey, teacher. Yes. Eh, yo como estuve trabajando de noche, me perdí tres clases. Mm -hmm. Pero en estos días libres voy a... Yes, you can you can go to the YouTube channel en el canal de YouTube as well or sometimes algunas veces quedan grabadas automáticamente en su correo. So but if you want to go to the YouTube channel para el canal de YouTube y volverlas a estudiar o a escuchar, you can go there and try to practice. Okay, that's very good. So guys, is, if there's no any other questions. Este, una question. Um, la presentación no la va a enviar al grupo de WhatsApp. Yes, to the WhatsApp group. ¿Y tarea? No, it, there won't be homework. No habrá tarea este weekend. Así que, verdad, try to relax. Siempre practice, práctica. Es la única tarea que les dejo, ¿verdad? Practicar, practice. So, uh, I hope you have a great weekend. Espero que tengan un buen fin de semana. Enjoy it as much as possible with your family. Take care of yourselves. Okay. And see you next Monday. Okay. Have a good night, guys. Good night, teacher. Bye-bye. Take care. Good night. Good night, good night teacher. Good night.